Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Virgos, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I'll be using my Guardian Angels Messages Tarot to clarify. I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot deck. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. To everyone who's stopping by, I welcome you, darlings. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for spending time with us. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so very much. Please, my loves, please take what resonates. Leave what does not. Not every reading will be for you. But maybe you might be able to give somebody some advice if you were to listen to it. I don't know. It's up to you. But at whichever way it is, I thank you for stopping by. So Virgo, this is for you. The five of water, some kind of disappointment or regret. This is about, this is the past, okay, that I'm telling you about right now. But this is the past past. Maybe you need to forgive something from the, you know, past. And once you do that, or maybe in the not too long ago, maybe there was some type of celebration you went to or you were part of. Or maybe you got news, good news. You got the page of water, whatever it is, babies, you need to trust your intuition. Trust that feeling, okay? You got the eight of water here. You're searching for something or maybe it's time for you to move on from that situation you've been holding on to. You got the ten of water. It's um, a loving, happy family. I don't know. Only you know. You got the seven of water. You got choices. So stop procrastinating, okay? You got the renewal card. Do some self-evaluations, baby. Go within. Start forgiving yourself. Be more gentle with you. When you go within and you do some healing, you start feeling, oh, you start feeling renewed. You start feeling like, oh, brand new. It's like a sense of rebirth, you know. You just feel like all this load is off of you, you know. Forgive you. Be gentle with you. You got the ace of water, oh baby, new love, your cup is overflowing, oh my goodness, I got goosebumps for you guys, huh? Oh wow, well, we got the ten of fire now, this here, okay, so it's either you got too much on your plate or your load is kind of heavy because it's just that way right now. Maybe you can stop, take a break and look at another way in doing things or maybe you can ask for help. But you got the Ten of Fire here, which talks about being overworked and stressed out. No, I don't like the word stress, you know. I just don't like it. But it, you got a little off balance here going on, you know. You're a little imbalanced, you know. You're a little off. But it's not nothing that can, can't be corrected. You got the Ten of Fire. Weary. Just feeling tired. No, not just cold. So then... We got five of water. Let's see. Let's see, the five of water, whatever you've been crying about or thinking about or regretting or disappointed, whatever it is, it has something to do with a broken heart. We got the three of air, it had involved somebody else. This is the past past, okay? Something that you think you might have gotten over, but you really haven't, okay? You're still holding on to some sadness from there. So forgive yourself, okay, babies? We got the nine of water here. Your wishes are going to come true, or maybe they already did now, you know? So maybe it's time to heal from that situation because, babies, we got the Ace of Cups here too. 
I'm well, the ace of water, ace of cups, same, okay? Your cup overflows. This is, you're starting to experience a whole new emotional feeling. You uh, take care of this, this old broken heart because that's what it is. It's old and you need to let it go. Okay, babies? Come on now. Okay. It's time to be happy. On top of the Three of Cups, the celebration, we got the lovers here, we got the Queen of Fire, and we got the King of Fire. You got some fire energy here. Now, the lovers could be a Gemini. I don't know if there's a Gemini that just came into your environment, um, or it could be that you need to make choices where the heart is concerned. Now, the Queen of Fire is about having courage, believing in yourself. That could be a Aries. A Leo or a Sagittarius. Then we got the King of Fire. That could be you taking charge of somebody, something. <laughs> taking charge of something. Um, keeping your eye on the, on the picture, the big picture, you know. Or again, it could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius in your environment. But whatever it is, you got to make some kind of choice. You got to choose to be happy. Whatever it is, you got a choice. You got the lovers. Maybe decisions of the heart. You got the queen of fire and you have the king of fire. You're kind of bold. Or maybe that's what it's saying. You're bold. You need to use your intuition, whatever it is. We got the eight of fire. We got the king of water. And we got the eight <coughs> of water. <clears throat> So in the past, um, you had the feeling that you were trapped in something you felt like you couldn't get out of, but you did. Um, you got the king of water here. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, but whatever it is, it's a need. You need to let go and move on. It's time for you to move on, okay? Make your decisions and move on. Now, this king of water Pike could be a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio. It could, or it could mean that you're feeling emotionally balanced to the point where you've decided you're going to let go. I don't know. We got the eight of air. You got out of that situation. We got the king of water. And we got the eight of water. That's a lot of emotions there. We got the eight of water here again. Still searching. You got to move on from that situation. You're going to find balance. You're resilient. Protect what you have created. Don't you give up, but choose your battles wisely. Be prepared. Ask your angels for help. You got the six of earth. Find balance financially. Maybe you're walking towards financial balance. Or maybe you got tired, you know, say, you know, there's a lot more to me than whatever it was that you were doing. Um, you got the six of earth. You got the nine of fire. You're resilient. Don't give up. You got the ace of air. You might be waiting or you might be receiving that communication you you were waiting on. Or it could be that you received the mental clarity that you needed in order to walk away from whatever the situation was. And then we got the Ten of Water. Family, love. You got the Queen of Air. Might be a Gemini here. You got to keep your eye on the prize. And then you got the Emperor here. That's an Aries. Or that's you being stable. Which one is it? We got the Queen of Air. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you, you, you decided, you know what? All this crap I've been holding on to for so long. It's time for me to clear it away. And I ain't carrying this stuff no more. I'm done. I'm finished carrying this load. And then the Star card. Have faith in the future. Your dreams come true. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep the hope alive. And then you got the emperor. That's about stability and you being log logical or, or having logic and stability and high standards. Or it could be an Aries energy. So you got the queen of air, the star card, and the emperor above the ten of water. And then you got the seven of water. Make the choice. Stop procrastinating. Whatever the choice is, I don't know. It's coming fast. It's going to bring a shift to your environment. It's going to be a happy family here. 
Hmm? A sudden or unexpected change is coming very fast. And we got, okay, so we got the eight of fire, which is fast. And then we got the night of fire, night of air, which is sudden and unexpected changes. Events are happening at a great speed. And then we got the ten of water, which is about a happy family. Happily ever after. So, you know, there are things to look forward to. We got the renewal card. Top of the renewal card, we got the nine of air. So by doing some research, oops, not research, <laughs> doing some renewal healing, okay? Um, sometimes it puts us in a very bad place, you know? And we get very sad and then we want to, we want to give up, so to speak. We get tired. So, you get sad, it brings up traumas, you know, because you look, you're you looking within, you're doing some self-evaluation at the same time, you know, like maybe wondering, why do I behave this way? Well, let me go on and see if I can figure this out, you know, and then it might take you a little further and then the, the healing process begins, you know. But um, it's going to, sometimes it brings negativity in your environment, sleepless nights. It's not an easy journey, okay? Healing is not easy, but it's so well worth it, babies. We got the nine of air, which is about feeling fearful. Push through that fear, you hear me? Push through it. Push through it. Push through it. You will get to the other side. And every time you do that, you will get stronger and stronger. You got the ego card. This is something unhealthy in your environment. And maybe by going within and doing a soul searching or whatever it is, maybe you found out about this unhealthy thing or maybe you were aware of it. Whatever it is, you are above it, okay? Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. You can overcome this. You can... You, you're over this challenge. This is, it, this is a challenge. Whatever it is, you're over it. You got the nine in air, you got the ego card, and you got the seven of fire. And I say you are over your challenge. You will overcome it. You will believe in yourself. So then we have the Ace of Water, and the Ace of Water is about new love or abundance, your cup overflowing, Nine of Earth, the King of Earth, I would say that's you Virgo on the Renewal card, reviewing the past with compassion, being gentle with yourself, okay? It's time to head in a new direction, clarity on your life's purpose is in your heart. And you know what to do. Deep down inside, you know what to do. You got the nine of earth. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You got the king of earth. I say, that's you, Virgo. And then we got the renewal, renewal card. Now, sometimes, you know, like when, you know, when we come in, when there's abundance and things are happening, sometimes we can feel kind of tired, you know? Whatever it is that's um, wearing you out, you need to take a break. You're exhausted. You need to take a, a vacation. Even if it's a, a day off from whatever it is that you do. Take a day off. Then you got the Ten of Earth. You're going to come into some financials, some money. Or are you deep in thought about the money and it's causing conflict and heaviness on you? Whatever it is, you're overthinking a situation and it's causing conflict. A situation that can be positive, huh? 
So don't go and tie yourself up and bring any negativity into the situation, all right, babies? You got the four of air. You got the ten of earth. This is some um, finances that you're unexpectedly coming into, okay? But it's causing some kind of conflict here. You got the five of it. Five of fire. I think it's causing conflict within you on what to do. You got the two of water. We got the ace of water here. Where else was the ace of water? We got the ace of water up here. Abundance, new love. We got the two of water. Falling in love. Or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Now, um, who is it? I heard someone say the other day, that, and I said this earlier too, because this same kind of feeling came back here. Like when I said resurgence of a relationship, um, because of Mercury retrograde, they say the past can come back and listen. My ex that I haven't spoken to in years and years and years and jackass years, out of the blue, contacts me. I got to tell you all that story. I got to come live and tell you all that story. But anyway, we got the two of water. We got the ace of fire. So the two of water is about falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Just be aware, you know, that person really hasn't changed. Okay, pay attention. You got the um, ace of fire, an amazing opportunity. Be bold. It's a new creative opportunity for you, and it's coming very fast. You got the two of water, the ace of fire, and the chariot. Coming fast. And what's coming fast, baby, is abundant in nature. It's abundance. Giving birth to your dreams. So let's see. I got a message for Virgo. High priest, intend and create. Oh, here it is. Let's see. High priest. Intend and create. Recognizing that you have the power to change your life, face your fear. Recognize that you have the power to change your life, face your fear, and align with the light. The extended message for this card is you're a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that. You are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating a way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you know, know that you are being guided by your ancestors by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow heal and expand and then watch it happen right before your eyes you gotta believe i love you guys you take care of yourselves and we will chat soon